Give up, man! Give up! Give up! So choke him with the feet! Emac armbar, biomechanical armbar and choke dual submission. So it's really the fourth way of doing armbar. So when you came, it was a little ugly there because I went, I made it realistic. It's okay, it looked ugly. Make fun of me because we were given pressure with the big guy. That's what it'll be like on the street. So, guys, any short armbar, judo style, after a throw, hip throw, any throw. You got knee on belly or more like knee on ribs from a good throw. Instead of just doing the arm bar, on the street you don't really want to break someone's arm unless they had a weapon usually, right? So, if you put yourself in that position because you don't train MMA, you don't train combatives, you're just a judo or jiu-jitsu guy, and maybe you go to an arm bar, I'd have it, out of muscle memory. But then you're like, oh, do I really want to break the guy's arm? And then if you wait, he might bite your leg. And his friends might come up and kick you in the head. So it's good to have an option to choke him with the feet. Plus it actually defends uh, a lot of his defenses by lifting his shoulder with your foot. So we're in here, I knee strike him, I hit my shoulder guard, bang, I go here. And I'm gonna, for training, I can put the hand down, the windshield wipe my feet. I kick this foot up underneath his armpit, okay? I come here and I get my feet the ball of my foot, like a front kick's on this artery. See the pressure point right there, I make him tap on my toe. The other heel goes into his neck, and I'm just bringing the heel to my own foot, which is strong, because it's linear. My body knows where I'm about, my body is. And I can have the armbar and choke him. Dude, you need to give up. You need to give up, dude, I can hit him if I want it. Dude, I'll break your arm, man, and choke him. I could think I could really pass him out. Let's see how long do I think it can, Tap light and then start tapping like a crazy guy before you go unconscious. Ready? Go. <laughs> so I choke him with my feet. That gives me an option on the street. So B Mech. It also not that you can't do like hitchhiker escape or Verdum lay on his side escape, but I'm making the fulcrum higher under his elbow than a regular short arm already is. Here's a regular short armbar. Come to this side. Go to this angle, please. So here's a regular short armbar. My foot's strapped under his ribs. Okay, number one, I have to go more to the ground. I have to go closer to the ground to get this armbar. But my fulcrum is pretty low to the ground as well. Meaning my groin or my hip. If I pull it across the hip, either way, I don't care. It's low to the ground versus lifting his shoulder. So actually, if he did, he was a jiu-jitsu guy, and he did know his defense from a short style fast armbar, as he's doing his defense, if I was really serious, if it was a street fight or an advanced thing, it's mostly for the street. But if he was doing a defense, he doesn't know. But if he was doing a defense, I could break his elbow because my fulcrum's higher. But this is about having the option of the choke. This goes in one artery, if I get my feet. This goes in the other artery. So to train it, slowly, you could just be here, and after a throw it's in the armpit, maybe. You pull it up like you're gonna slide down a fire pole, put the hand here for balance, and I'm gonna windshield wiper my foot. There, windshield wiper, the foot goes out. And then I fall back, linear, heel to toes, to ball of the foot. So guys, that is the BMAC dual submission biomechanical armbar and choke. Train it for the street, it's another good option not that you use it all the time, but try to do it sometimes because it's a good option to have for the street. Thank you very much. Please thumbs up and subscribe, yo.